<laughs> did I just, uh, <laughs> did I possibly just doom myself? Oh. So basically they're, they're speed runners. Hey, get, get back here. How dare you? What a pretty video game. We were getting pretty far last time through. I need, there were, there were secret film stashes hidden around the stranger. I remember that much. And I think I found most, oh boy, I tell you what. <laughs> okay. You're cutting off time on my speed run. Um, yeah, so there were those, uh, there were those secret stashes. And... And I need to... Ooh, there's an update. And we also learned that you can, you can walk... Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on. We also learned that you can walk on, uh, those, those secret bridges without without opening them up. You could just walk on them if you know where they are, um, which is cool. Uh, slide burning room, a room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. Oh, right. Yeah, secret fireplace. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with, uh, is that just the same thing? Yeah, that's just the same text. Okay. Wow, there's, there's all sorts of fun, fun revelations. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't remember that. Oh, I think I do. I think that was in the, that was in like the, the, the main house with the, with the like, the sort of like alcove cut into the cave across the across, that was the hidden gorge area um i think that's what that is okay a projection that seems to reveal a secret location somewhere within the stranger uh -huh. okay so these were yeah these were the hidden stashes Good to know, good to know. A room full of burned slide reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden slide reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished, and the figure carries the container down into a dark well. I don't remember that. There's more to explore here. Entering the correct sequence opens the path to a secret room beneath the temple. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers and inhabitants removing all of the slide reels from their shelves, scanning each reel with a device, and incinerating specific slides as well as entire reels. Yeah, real, uh, real book burning party kind of going on there. Oh, uh, you know, I, I would like to mark up the stranger. Thank you. already lost some critical time in this loop reading. Actually, it might, uh, it might have paused time during that reading. Okay. E okay. Cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Smooth. Oh, now that was that was some speed running strats.
Okay, where am I going? What am I doing? I need to go to, I need to go to the hidden dark world. And to, to the hidden gorge, to the big gorge, to the gorge. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking away. Should, should not do that. Full speed ahead. Hi, Agents Fire. How you doing? Please turn. Thank you. Hmm. I can respect that. Artifact over here. There we go. I think you're going to start your drive to Arizona after work tomorrow. Nice. I am going to drive to Dallas tomorrow. So I'll be right there with you on long drives tomorrow. I'm trying I'm hopefully trying to get this done early enough that I can still pack tonight um, and uh, not be super late tomorrow oh what is what is all that I don't remember that probably was just not paying attention Yeah, for me, I'm going to do, like, midday. So, like, 11 a.m. if I can wake up early enough for it. Um, get there before it gets super late. Oh. <gasps> okay, so not all bridges can you walk across like that <laughs> okay i guess that's good to know oh man i was so excited I'm like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna straight up walk my way there Yeah, timing is not important. I, I don't have to like be there by a specific time or anything. I just, uh, you know, just trying to make the, the, the best of my time. Because the thing I used to always do is I always have this super late schedule, so I'd always leave at like 6 p.m. or something and then show up at midnight. Uh, or maybe not quite that late, but, you know definitely after sunset and it's just an exhausting ordeal okay now this this I can walk along just chilling just vibing there we go Ugh.
appetite. Yeah, uh, you as well. You as well. Can you not... Can you not be spooky for one second? Oh, I hate this. I know you're hunting me. You're chasing me down. Oh, no. How did I get lost? You're gonna, like, strangle me. Please don't. Oh, man, do I have to go do that? Can I just drop down? Oh, I could just drop down. I think. Ow. Damn it. I think I did the same thing last time. I figured, well, I, I'm at full health. Let me, let me just drop down. No. This might be a problem because I didn't actually go through and make the bridge. I see you. It's going to be a bit of a tough ordeal. <sighs> Drats. Ooh. So you got a, you got like a multiple day kind of trip. I do not envy that. Um, I'm just I'm just wasting all of my time. I'm gonna try to unextinguish it. See if I can do that. Yeah. That's cool. There you go. What? Oh, I can't unextinguish it. Also, you could see you could see homie up there just chilling. Walking around. Like he owns the place. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well damn. I wonder if that means that. I wonder if I'll even be able to, to light this then. If I extinguish the whole place. I might not be able to. Yeah. Ooh, but I can go through these doors now. Hell yeah. I've never been here before. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Bad. Bye. I hate this. I've made a mistake. Oh, God. I'm just going in loops. I'm going in circles. I hate this. <laughs> ah! This would have been so much easier if I'd just done it first and then gone through and extinguished the house. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm getting my I'm getting my space legs back. I'm getting my space legs back.
Ooh, I didn't get yelled at by what's his name. Okay. Yeah, we did not learn anything on that. Well, we sort of learned something on that run. Don't extinguish it too fast. upside down because that just seems fun Okay, let's try this again, but make it slightly less scary for ourselves. Let's go. Because I think basically I go through, I light up the, I light up the bridge in the middle of the house, and then I go through and extinguish all of the lights, and then I can just run down to the bottom of the house. Once I do that, the painting will be open and I can uh, I can traverse through and I can go over to the, the cliff which is somewhere I've not been. I don't like how hostile these these aliens are. I just want to be their friend. a little scary. No, no frenemies. Just friends. They they have like no curiosity about this little frogman who traveled to their to their world. I wonder if they sort of blame my species on some capacity for the for the eye of the universe or if they see me as connected in some capacity uh, which is why they're so hostile that would be quite sad hmm. I wonder if uh, the hidden path needs to have lit candles or not lit, but needs to have candles marking the path um, in order for it to be a valid, like, secret path. Like, there is a secret path over here, but I suspect I will just fall off the cliff if I go there because there's not candles marking it. But this one, this one is good. Okay. So I'm safe as long as I don't extinguish all the lights in the house. So I got to get to the other side of that. Okay, so I'm coming over here. 
you stay in that room. You mean, mean creature. Why does this layout seem so confusing to me? I, I feel like I don't recognize anything about this layout. I legitimately don't. I feel like I don't know where I'm at. I feel like that wasn't always the layout of that stairwell. Am I? Am I tripping? Am I out of my gourd? going on back here? Oh. Is this supposed to be a... Hey, there's a, there's a guy back here. FYI. And then I just never actually saw that. Okay, let's hope this stays lit. Now I have to rush over here. Oh, and there's the the dam breaking. I can feel it in, in me bones. Yep, 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 yep. This game is amazing. You should you should check out the base game at some point. It's a uh, quite extraordinary. And this DLC is great as well. A lot of super clever stuff. Okay. Is it still active no it's turned off well, what the hell maybe I need to go maybe there's a path up I don't think so well maybe but I don't think so I think up just goes up Try to drop down, but that seems like a recipe for disaster. Maybe if I go over that way. Let me try that. And I don't have much time because Oh yeah, that that might get me to where I want to go. Um, because the cycle is going to end quite soon. Block. So I, think, I think previously, okay, that's what I've got to do. Got it. Um, previously, I had dropped the lantern over here, but I hadn't uh, done it after. Oh, hey, bud, you stay over there. I hadn't done it after extinguishing. Oh, wow. They really are just going to chill over there. Great. I hadn't done it after extinguishing the house. So this is good stuff. New information. Ding dong. Hello?
Ding dong. So I need to shine my light onto this. Okay. So how can I bring my light and just walk down here and then just walk across? It did not seem like that would be the case. Um, it may be that I need to... So the trick is like, okay, which of these bridges can I cross with the lantern? So if I can't cross, if I can cross this with the lantern, then presumably no problem. Because I have to imagine the bottom one I can. Because otherwise there's no, there's no way to get the lantern down there. Um... If I can't cross that first one, then I'll have to be tricky with things. Okay, so let's see if I can just if I can just walk across uh, this hidden bridge. But yeah, if I can't, then I'll, I'll have to get uh, tricky. Okay, I can. Okay, let's hope I don't fall off the edge. Ooh. Okay. So we should be okay. And now, let's just hope we don't get uh, gobbled up by that hidden alien down here. So I just, I extinguished my light because I knew if they saw the light, they would have come after me. And I just had a hope that I could make my way across. All right, going down. New area. Ooh. Okay. We've hit the we've hit the mother load. This is the This is where they keep all of the This is the, the, the great library so to speak. This is where they keep all of all of the reels that they've burned elsewhere. Great. There you go. Okay. Why would I go up? I feel like I want to go down. Oh, I probably need to insert something into this right so they're giving me access up to all of the reels well at least these two okay so this is the hearthian solar system yeah, this is when they're very homesick. I remember this slide. Oh, this might be the... Oh, okay. I think this part was burned in the slide that I saw. So now we've got new information. Okay, so we have data coming in. And it shows this holographic projection of a space... Okay, so this is their digital recreation of their home, I think, which is maybe where I am now. Oh, nice. 
get a couple of rendering passes here. You know, gotta gotta make sure your specular highlights are correct. Get some ray tracing in there. All right, they're loading up, and they are entering their own matrix. All right. We're learning more about this place we currently exist in. Oh. Nice. Oh no. Your uh your uh, neural network is uh destabilizing. Okay, so we're in this we're in this false this false land. We've got a little bubble. It's 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 really just a holodeck. Honestly and truly. Okay, so the artifact is some sort of Uh, projection of this digital space. Once you go outside of that zone, then you're like, uh, then you're whatever this is. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a bug in the code, more or less. Something that maybe they didn't account for. I feel like you should have accounted for that. Oh, to go through this door, I think I have to be away from my thing. Or through this door. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and set that down. Uh... Oh, right. It's not over here. It's over here. No. Okay. So I will bring this over here. Set it down off in the corner. And then I will go into bug code mode. So I suspect those are other areas that I have to access similar to this. Ooh, here we go. That seems broken. Correct me if I'm wrong. That seems broken. Which here, not supposed to be broken. Hmm. 
Whoa. Oh. I thought that was like a little snake in the water, but I think it's just a reflection of this rock. Or something up here or whatever. But that was cool for a second. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, my guess is I have to go to the, the other three primary locations and uh, do some stuff there. Oh yeah, I guess in order to open these doors, uh, what I would have to do is find some way to extinguish this uh, house, this building. Which can typically only be done at a distance, and you need to gaze through the gaw. Or the maw? The maw of uh, of one of those statues. Okay, I think that's about... This is a cool look. Um, I think that's about what I'm going to get from this area. Time to move on. But I suspect the loop will end soon. the music. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Shine directly in your eyes. Are you, are you not willing to cross the bridge? My man, you invented this technology. You just walk over here. You should know this. Ah! This is very scary. <laughs> dare you. Ah! <sighs> okay. Well, that's fair. All right. Reset loop. Even though that's going to happen in like three seconds anyway. Weird.
That's interesting that they don't... They don't want to follow on the bridge unless they are very much provoked. Okay, so the the Hidden Gorge... I feel like we kind of handled. Um, now we just have to go to some of the other locations to see if that knowledge checkpoint unlocks anything additional. Also, we will take a look at the ship log. See what we gain from that. Forbidden Archive. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants congregating around a strange green fire. Intact slides reveal the creation of a simulated reality modeled after their home moon. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond its projection radius. I already knew about, I already knew about all that. Starlit Cove. Okay. There's more to find in Starlit Cove. How do I get there? Is that the one near Cinder Isles? Or that's accessed through the, the tower? I guess we'll find out, because I know that's one of the places. So, let's go that way. Also, I unmarked the stranger accidentally. I'm sure it's probably out this way. Okay, the stranger, Mark. Ooh, I was pointed almost right at it. Suki, hi. How you doing? Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a okay. Could investigate this one. Nah, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the tower. Wait. I don't know if there's an art there's gotta be an artifact over there, but I don't remember where. So maybe I'll start with this one. Ugh. Uh are you a voice actor? this one right here oh no I am I am not a voice actor I will I will take the compliment though This one's spinning me out at. I do not remember. Oh, that was very scary. I 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I really, uh, I really like Outer Wilds. Um, this DLC has been cool. A lot of interesting ideas. Oh, this is, um... Right, this one. I kind of wish there was a, a run button. That'd be, that'd be useful. I mean, when you're not in the simulation, you can kind of zip around places with your spacesuit. But, you know, just a little, little jog would be nice. Uh, yeah, this is Echoes of the Eye. Y you are correct. are going in there. Thanks for the follow. I very much appreciate it. Uh, hi, Brian. How are you doing? Uh, no, you didn't miss a whole lot. Just, uh... Just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit of me being frightened, mostly. And provoking these fellas. The songs in this game are amazing. Yeah, the music's really great. Hmm. So I guess what I'm looking for right now, primarily, is to see if there are two candles lit side by side. Don't find me. Um, so that I can take a leap of faith and walk across a hidden... Can you not see that bubble over there, my G? Whoa, okay. I had not seen this. Okay. So this is how you get over here. Like extremely Mario in a Goomba suit walking in a line of Goombas trying to 
act as though he is also a Goomba, and all the Goombas just play along. Oh, y'all are gonna kill me, huh? Hey, everyone. Ah! Don't kill me. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So that one, that one has to be all about timing. I feel like I have to wait till all, all of, all of those folks have gotten into their house and then I can sneak in. Oh wait, and there's also a shortcut over here. Right, like. Can I just do this? There we go. <laughs> and then over here. Well. Nice. call oh there's another right yeah there's another okay I will wait for you it might not be a matter of waiting. It's feasible that there's some way that maybe I could kind of sneak in and sidestep those guys, I guess. Oh, and there's another one. Yeah, so oh, where did you go? There's another one. So with how many there are, I feel like there must be some way that I can do this without just immediately dying. Maybe if I rushed over here, if I got here fast enough. Oh wait, don't all of these Oh I know. I know. So this is in that one building. This building get washes away, get washed away, gets washed away. Whoa, what is that? Uh shadow. This building gets washed away when the dam breaks. So, I will also be removed from here because my flame will get extinguished. God, they play their music so loud. And there it goes. And everybody's about to, everybody's about to die. And I'm about to get pulled out. Yep. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Yep. 
Um, so, I need to... Oh, wow, that actually hurt me quite a bit. Which I guess makes sense. So, I need to find another entrance there. Or I, I need to find another one of the uh, another one of the, the the paintings to go into the to go into the 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 metaverse to go into the the outer wilds metaverse. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Um, and then um, and then take the raft over to that area. Ow! And then I'll be able to go in without without any problem. Um, so the question is, do I go in via the tower? That would be quicker, but the tower does collapse. So it would buy me a little bit less time. I could do the hidden gorge. It wouldn't be, uh, I'll, I'll try to go the hidden gorge. I feel like the fact that it buys me more time is just more valuable. Um, and I don't think it'll take me much longer to get there. Maybe it will. I like I don't really remember the the raft route. Oh, right, this. Oh, I might not even be able to actually get up here. Oh, sick. Okay, I can. Nice. Set this down. Where? Here we go. Put that there. Take that. Move it over here. All right, doze off. Okay. Now, I have to rush down to the raft and make my way back to that area because they are connected. Ooh, and actually, we determined last loop um, that I don't even need to mess with that center path at all. I can just land here and walk across. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Let me in first. There we go. Okay. Now, let's spawn this raft. Perfect. I assume I should be bringing my artifact with me. All right, now let's book it to that area. I don't remember where I get off at, but I'm, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, now it's the tower first, right? Or the, 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 the safe, I guess you'd call it the vault. Oh, that's scary. Okay, then is it the tower or is it the 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 house? Ooh, okay. So this is this is the house area, I believe. I think.
Bye. All right, speed run. Got to make our way over to that house. And thankfully, we have everything all lit up, so it's easy to find. And they're toast, so we don't have to worry about any of our owl antler friends, except for that noise. Okay, uh, over here. Here we here we go. I'm digging up your catacombs. Your digital crypt. Give me your NFT slides. Let's go. I will own you. Ooh, that's the hidden fire. That's the thing where the where the stuff is behind the, the fireplace. Just gonna take a quick look around first. But I know that's where I need to be eventually. Walk through the fire. Okay, and there's nothing up here. This is just, ow. Which is where they were all standing. All right, let's go. Do I? Yeah, buddy. I was wondering whether or not I needed to uh, extinguish my flame or drop my artifact or something first, but no, we're good. A lot of people Google that. Wow. No, I found I found the. Um, I found the reel that showed that, so it was fresh-ish on my mind. Okay, a couple more slides, two more. Seems like we're gonna get two slides per location, even though we have these racks upon racks upon racks of slides. And I would love to know what all of these are but I'll settle for the two. Oh, you mean the waiting for them to get drowned and using another entrance and still be there after? Gotcha. Yeah, that, um, yeah, that did come to me quite, quite fast. I, well, so I, pe I pieced together, uh, before too long that they were dying in the flood. I actually, I actually like intuited that fairly early on because I kept on wondering what that sound was, right? Because you can hear that sound anytime you're in the digital world. Um, and I, I realized that it coincided with my uh, controller rumbling, which means that's when the dam breaks. And so I was like, oh, okay. So something is happening when the dam breaks. And then I realized that once I thought about being in that house that floods and there's all of those people there and I realized that they're still alive they're just in this other world. Now I know it's a digital holographic simulation or whatever. Um, so I, I kind of realized that, oh, that sound is them dying because it pulls me out as well. Um, they were just too weak to survive that kind of traumatic um, uh, experience. So I, I actually pieced that little little part of the puzzle together like super early. Um, and then once once I knew that, then like the rest of this was fairly uh, simple to figure out. Interesting. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's see what uh what slides await us. Okay, so we got a fella on his raft in the simulation, and we can see our matrix matrix code up there okay you're getting a <laughs> uh, this is super funny this is basically this is basically video game design right in video games there are portals which are, you walk through a place to load in another environment or location and this is them being like yeah we still gotta deal with that shit uh <laughs> That's so funny. They're like, yep, we're unloading this and we're loading up the new environment. 
there you go. And then we've got we've got our simulation running. That's so funny. Yep. Oh. Okay. So basically they're they're speedrunners. Right? <laughs> They looked at the code and they were like, oh my God, if you jump off the raft in between loading environments, you get pushed down 23 floors and you load, you load in to the end game. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. This is so funny. I love that so much. Okay, I guess I got to try that. That's really funny. Man. <laughs> I love that animation too. Just like the guy going like... Very, uh, very Star Trek the Animated Series kind of level of <laughs> animation. Okay, so we see their home planet and their home moon, I should say. Okay, we've got Eye of the Universe, near, like overlooking the Hearthian solar system, which has a very bizarre ecliptic. I'm just going to assume that we're at a, like a weird elevated looking down position, which actually kind of bears out here uh, based on their rotations. Okay, so it activates, sends out this beacon signal. Uh-huh. It hits their planet, right? I remember this. Goes through the telescope. He's like, yo, everybody, you got to check this shit out. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, so the beacon imprinted upon this person's mind. Aha. I see this, this moment of clarity. I must go investigate. But then we get to the burned slides here in a moment. They're all looking through this. Okay, I think this might have been burned out. Okay, we see the beacon. They're all reaching for it. No, this was burned out. Oh, damn. Damn. So they saw that this was so important that they went from an agrarian society to an industrial society to build this ship, this vessel. And they saw it as so important that the cost was so high and they were still willing to pay it. The cost being their beloved home moon. Um, that's especially impactful knowing just that like, oh, all this digital, uh, this, this digital home that they built to live out the rest of their lives was their pre-industrial uh, uh, homeland. Um, and that explains why they were breaking down and having such a rough time once they realized that there was a problem with the eye of the universe, once they realized it wasn't all that they thought it was. Um, it wasn't just because they had traveled so far, as I originally assumed, um, because I assumed that would, that would... So I kind of assumed this is a generational ship because you're traveling between star systems, um, and that takes an extraordinarily long amount of time, even though here it's kind of depicted rather quickly. Um, but now I know it's... It might be that, but it's definitely because they did this at the expense of everything that they valued and cherished before the beacon. Okay, then we saw this. Yep, and it zips off. And it shows up. Devastating. Devastating. Okay, what's down here? Burned again. Yeah. 
And I assume if we get far enough away to go into to mat mat matrix code mode, um, we will see that it is also glitched like the uh, previous one we spotted. Hell yeah. Let me in. Hacker voice, I'm in. Get me into that mainframe. Okay, sick. So, I think we just have one left to go into. I'm learning a lot of important lore. Okay, so we need the tower one. Actually, uh, we might have two left to figure out. But the tower is one of them, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna meditate till the next loop. So I can have as much time as possible. We're already pretty deep into that loop. Oh, there's the there's the there's the tower, and there's the safe. I think there's still stuff there. Um, or at the very least, there's at the very least there's nothing new that I've found there since today's stream. Are you gonna yell at me? No, nice might have broken that loop. Think. Okay, let's check the rumor log. Oh, that's it. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents has have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. Oh, right, and I have to do that. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off of a raft during a transition between areas and following, falling below the world. Yeah, I... Uh, somebody mentioned last time he's not supposed to interrupt me literally every loop. Oh, it was so annoying. It was so annoying. Yeah, I'm very glad that that is not a thing right now. Okay, so I think I will go to the tower first. I'll investigate that. If I don't spot anything new there, then I will do the uh, falling between transi transitions. if there's an artifact over there. So I'll get this one. To the tower.
Okay. So go through here. And it's that one. Those off. I kept forgetting where the planet was in each one. What do you mean? I remember there was... Have I been down there? I don't remember. I do remember s vaguely how to do it. I think I had to get on the raft. And then I think there's like a cheeky... A cheeky thing to... Like a area to look at. And then it... And it gets me to blow that out. Oh, that's fun. I don't think I had actually gone through to this side. There's a sentry here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's a critic. Me? And that's the building over there, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, man, they're all doors. To be fair, last time I went through here, I I knew they were doors. I had no idea how to open them. Well, 
I know the raft is over here. So maybe I'll just go down to the raft. See what's up. Ugh. Read this language. Dong, dong, dong. Okay, so it's like... There's a thing somewhere. Here? Yeah, baby. Nice. <laughs> okay, this is new territory for me. Let's go ahead and extinguish this. Oh man, that means that means they're gonna be out for me though. Damn. Oh. The hell is that noise? Oh. Can you can you not? Actually, oh, I don't like this. Uh, I literally don't know where I am. I just fell onto something, and I'm afraid to uncover my. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> where the hell am I? Hi, Harold55. How you doing? Yeah, at least it wasn't water. They're very close, though. And I don't know if there's any way out of here. <laughs> this might be... This might be bad. Ugh. I have to do some some Skyrim tactics here. Ah, oh, Jesus! Ah, I hate that. That scared me so bad. How did you get down here, bro? Gah! <laughs> oh, did not like that. Okay. Where does it, where does this put me out at? Right here. Okay. I'm going to try to go without the artifact. Oh, I can't see anything. There we go. Because that'll make me harder to spot. And hopefully I can still get down to ground level. Oh, can you not? Okay, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, the thing right there. An elevator. That's what they call them. Hmm. Ooh, but can this bring me down a level? No. Not really. I don't think dropping down is going to be... My best bet. Yeah, I might be out of luck without um Okay, well this this path looks safe at least. Okay, so I'll go grab that. 
And I'll have to remember, go to the left. The right is treacherous. The left, you're good. Goes to the dam. Shut up. No, nope, not this way. Oh, there's the lean. We've only got a couple minutes left. Okay. I'm gonna set you down here. I'm gonna walk away. Try not to fall, fall into water. Actually, I need to... Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that because... I was about to just literally just walk straight into water. And I might still. I think I'm on the bridge. Okay. Whew. Okay. Bro, you cannot. Stop camping. Nobody likes that. What is, what is your deal? If I get too close, you're just gonna gobble me. Ooh. Hot strat. Hell yeah. Metal Gear Solid style. What's good, homie? What's good? <laughs> Banned for spawn camping. Absolutely. Vac ban on this on this guy. Okay. It would be cool to see this in normal vision. Oh, that does not want to open. I'm supposed to be here with like my actual lantern. What happens if I fall down there? It looks like there's no path up. Maybe there's stairs there? It doesn't look like it though. Maybe I can like, oh, hot strat. Okay, I suspected there was something down there. Okay, so that leads you back up. <clears throat> okay, what's down here? Hello. All right, elevator. So that means I need my lantern. Damn it. I was trying to be slick. 
and get through here in matrix mode. Yo, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why did you see me then? That doesn't make sense. Hold on, before I go back. Just thoroughly investigate. Oh, interesting. So that this looks like it goes back up to where I actually started. Which means where where does this go to? No, that he heard me before I broke my ankle. Well, he saw me. They saw me. All right, all right. I will try to be less of a coward. And I will grab my lantern. If I could even make it past this guy going in the opposite direction. Eesh. See, how come you can't see me, but that guy could? Doesn't make any sense. Where did you go? Oh, you're on the other side of this rock. Yeah, what up? an ominous way to travel, let me tell you. Uh, it's weirdly tragic that we don't even know their pronouns. Uh, the Nomai were strangers to us, but we knew them thousands of times better than these people. True. And it's especially sad that these people are still, in some way at least, alive. Um, obviously, it seems like there's a tremendous barrier and culture uh, uh, deficit um, between us all. But they won't even let us get to know them, which makes me sad. Where does this go to? This uh, elevator. Oh, I don't even have the um, the recall thing. Okay. So we know there are two bad guys. Bad, bad folks. Over here. Oh, these are like uh, family portraits. Portraits. Um, where where are you at, baddies? Oh, nope. I'm walking. I'm trying to walk literally anywhere else. No. Ooh. Can they see my silhouette? Please no. Doesn't matter. I got through, and I know there's a sentry here. So I'm going to keep my stuff dork and out of the way. Bye, losers. All right, let's get two more reels. Hell yeah.
Insert artifact. Don't mind if I do. Oh, three. See, if I could turn this off, I could just walk straight through and get like 40 reels. Now that's a video game I want to play. Oh, uh, this looks like an important one. Bonus reel. Best kind. Okay. The Eye of the Universe. All right, so this is presumably after they have traveled some distance. They are nearing where the beacon has drawn them to. There's the symbol of the Eye of the Universe. They're scanning it. Okay, you've touched it and th things have gone bad. Okay, so that's the, I'm presuming this is the start of all of the supernovas. Oh, no, this is just like uh, an, an omen for death and destruction. But rebirth. Huh? Huh? Not all bad. Not all bad, guys. Song titles The Premonition. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, right. So this is where they burn it down. Uh huh. Their church. Um, okay. So I think this was burned out previously. So what do we have here? They are constructing something. This is in the vault. Presumably, or this is before they build it inside the vault or whatever. Okay. Okay, so this was the thing that... I think this was the thing that was leading them here. Okay, so it, like... Oh, so they closed off the beacon. Interesting. So some sort of like force field thing. And then that's when they went into hiding. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, I wonder... Hmm. I wonder, well, we've got more slides to get through. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if that premonition is necessarily about uh, the danger it possesses or if it's more about the power of the eye of the universe, um, wherein, you know, power necessarily uh, can come very good things and very bad things. Kind of a balance, sort of. Uh, how much do I know about the Nomai at this point? I don't remember. I beat the game like a year ago. So, like, whatever you know by the end of the game. Uh, but it's, it's, it's all, like, really hazy memories for me. I have a hard enough time remembering what happened when I played this DLC a week ago. Okay. Brain. Ah, so we're going to get into some some matrix stuff, some some we're living in a simulation kind of thing. It's an interesting tie in. Hmm. What I'm what I'm really looking forward to learning about, which I assume will be revealed at some point, there's clearly one of these Folks, one of these alien species, these elk, uh, owl people, one of them is missing. And I suspect there's going to be some fun lore reasons as to where they went. Okay, so we have 
Scan of a brain. Got this fire. Okay, it is creating this projection of their digital world. Aldir. Seems to be a common nomenclature. Okay, walking in. Vitals are good. I'm in. This might be the, this might be the one who didn't make it. I guess maybe I, maybe I just found the answer to my my own uh, query. Huh? Not compatible. But yet found new life in the cyber zone. Elderly, uh, Al Deer person. It was too much for their system to handle. But we all find new life in the cyber zone. Okay. Put that there. I'll take this one out. Oh, now, now we got some, some more, uh, glitchy finding the bounds of this uh of this thing okay we have two folks who are jacked in oh so the alarm is ringing okay so it's it's bringing them out of the sleep i believe this is uh sort of the effect of the sentry bell or the the sentry their alarm system Okay, um, so this is like their neural wave there, and then we see the alarm system hits their brain and sends them back out of the thing, out of, out of the simulation. Zip. Oh no! That's grim. Oh, interesting. So are they just never able to escape? Huh. Interesting. So I, I, I foresee two possible explanations of what I'm seeing here. Um, so one, it could be that they that there is this uh, deceased Aldir person um, who still roams the lands and maybe they are special in that capacity. However, all of these glitch reels... Um, or slides, what are they called? Slide, I guess both. Uh, all these glitch reels seem to be uh, almost uh, instructional for me to exceed the bounds of the program. So I wonder if there is some way in which I can die in this world while still being inside of that world or if if i can die 
in the process of going into that world and then suddenly the alarm system has no bearing on me because it cannot um, jolt me out of the simulation uh, because there is no one to jolt out of. So right now, both of those um, thoughts are bouncing around in my head a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's open this up. And, of course, there's nothing. Of course. Hmm. Oh! Oh! That is the vault with the three locks on it. These have been the islands uh, out in the distance. Ah, okay. I'm not sure. Is this is this the one that has like the many lights going up? Possibly. Hmm. That's probably too fast to get in, right? Did did I just uh, <laughs> did I possibly just do myself? Oh, I could. Is there a railing? Okay, there's a railing here to jump over. That's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, they must have they they must have known that like uh somebody's gonna try this. <laughs> we need to we need to we need to have like a fail safe hey I need out of here kind of a situation. See if uh... I want to. I just want to look at the glitch because I know it's there. Uh, what's on the other side of this? I don't remember. I kind of just want to restart the loop. Um, okay, so what do I need to do now? Now, definitely what I would like to try is dropping off the raft. I think, I think that's the next big step. Um, from where should I drop off the raft? I guess it would be fastest to do it in the house that floods. But that would be that would be the big the big music house. Um, I just don't like that area. Yeah, I'll do I'll do the gorge because it's uh, it's just it's it's my home. It's my digital it's my digital cyber home. Oh, well, here we go. <gasps> That's not super jarring. Literally every time. So yeah, isn't this the uh, the location where there's one missing? Yeah, one right here. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Uh, that would mean that any any possible roaming folks there would uh, would now not be around. Although that doesn't, I guess they must have still been just barely alive um, and not totally dead, uh, because otherwise they wouldn't have exited the simulation. But we saw 
over at the music house that they did exit the simulation. They were pulled out. Hmm. Okay. Time to do the, the, the raft, the raft glitch. And also time to uh, check on the the rumor log. See what filled out, see what's still left. Come on, sweep me away. I, I want to go all, 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 all natural on this one. Get swept up in a supernova. Supernova. Because it's not plural. Sick. Sick jump. Okay. Oh, also, there is still one place that I haven't been this stream, um, which is the uh, the vault. But I, I do want to do the raft thing first. Hmm. Oh, no, just that one. Okay, a library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers and inhabitants analyzing an anomaly that closely resembles the Nomai symbol for the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. Hmm. Because, yeah, weren't the, uh... Hmm. I was, I was trying to, I was trying to pull back lore memory of the Nomai. Um, because I know they sent off the probe, because, like, they were trying to find it, and they couldn't find it. Maybe they couldn't find it because, because the, the signal had been, uh, hidden or something. I don't know. Um, I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Um, I don't, I feel like I don't remember that. Second artifact lights after its bearer dies. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the strangers' and strangers' inhabitants. Hmm. All right. Well, there's still more to find in Starlet Cove, which is where I just was. So there's stuff in there, and then there's more to find in the sealed vault. Oh, well, I, I guess I, I the two of the three codes I've not figured out yet. Um, but first, I want to fall off the raft.
Okay, so I'm going to the gorge. push me forward. I do. Oh. Which one are you? This one. Is it always the one with two lamps? No, I guess not. Time to doze. So, we're going to race over to the mm, race over to the raft. assume I should bring my lantern to this. I guess if I mess it up and respawn, then it's quick enough to get back here. And I assume it's okay if the candles are still lit on the raft. But, of course, we shall find out. I will hide my flame, though. Um, and I will, I guess, fall off the back. And I will look this way so I'll know when we're truly... Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I can walk on water. I am by the, so I'm 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 in the middle of the room with the uh, with the vault. Remember the store banner image? No, not even remotely. So I would drop off, but I suspect uh, it'll be difficult to work my way back. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is how you solve number two. This is how you solve the second lock. Because I was like, how the hell do you get over to the to that area if you can't call the raft over? You just walk over there. Ooh, also, 
Oh. I presume I've been over there. The Hearthian wading through water with a lantern. Hmm. I have no memory of that, but that's that's a fun little uh, connection. Okay, well, before I drop down, let me go to this side. Because this also, presumably, could be a way to get past the sentry. Maybe? Hmm. I do not see an entry point. So it might not be. It might just be for the second one. I assume I can just drop down, but until I know for sure. I want to try a little bit of parkour. Maybe this is rock climbing of sorts. Okay, I'll just drop down. Unless. Hey, look at that. I have to have my cake and eat it too a little bit. I probably could have just walked over that <sighs> yo let's go now the question is can i continue walking on water nope <laughs> no nope. absolutely not uh. okay well that's Two out of the three locks down. Now, how to get the third? Hmm. I want to go to the I want to go to the vault. Although now that I think about it, there's probably not uh, there's probably not much more to find at the vault because that just that just leads me to where I just was. I think it's been a while since I went down through the vault, but that's kind of my hazy memory. I know my rumor log still indicated that there was um, more to be found at Starlit Cove, which is the area with uh, with the sentry and everything. Drink. Two down. Oh, interesting. And then maybe I come back to here to actually um, inspect it and open it up once the locks are off. Yeah, this just brings me down to the locks. Okay. Hey, this seems familiar. Let me out. Okay. 
Do I get any uh, additional vision now that the second one is down? I think this is the same. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hidden path. Gotcha. Because of the light. Yes. this code I remember some of the components that were involved yeah I'm not gonna guess that um, okay so we can do that one pretty easily I just have to look at my rumor my rumor log and I can get that this one don't even need this We can just no-clip our way through the world. Then this one we still have to figure out. Which there appears to be... Okay, so there is a looking, looking post sort of situation here. And I presume that through that... Um, through that, you can extinguish those lights, maybe? Maybe that light? But it's a measure of... I mean... This this feel, this feel feels like a... A, oh, how am I going to get past this sentry? Well, be dead. <laughs> be dead, because then the bells can't wake you up. Um, don't, don't have a brain that can be awoken by this. Um, it does look like there's a little, there's a little outcropping here, but I, I, I can't see myself actually clipping through the bottom and then walking over that because I, I, I didn't find a path through that. Thing. Yeah, just wake me up. It's fine. I got quite close. did that. Because I was thinking, like, what is a way to die as you get in? And I was thinking, like, well, I could, I could wait for the supernova. That seems really tedious. That seems like it would take a long time. It'd be hard to time. But then we got that we got that fire right there. So let's find out if I timed it well enough. Also, kind of a grim reality, but I guess I guess with the loop it's not that big of a deal. 
Unfortunate that I don't remember the code to that one, though. But at least we'll have proof of concept. You cannot harm me. Oh. <laughs> or you can. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't quite die, so maybe... <laughs> Yeah, that worked great. <gasps> oh, maybe it did work great. <laughs> I was fully convinced like, well, <laughs> I just killed myself on a fire for no, no good reason. I suppose it makes sense from a game design perspective that they don't want you to have like, oh yeah, we need, we need you to time this in like a 0 0.2 second window of when you die between you dying and you losing agency over your body. Instead, they're just like, just no sound, man, that's weird. That's eerie. I don't like that. How sick would it be if all the Aldir were like super nice to me now? <laughs> if they're just like, hey man, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> okay, any new vision or just same old? I'm guessing same old, but you never know. Yeah, okay, it's just the same fish. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay, we can skip through this. Okay, no, okay. What happens if I jump in the water? Do I just die for real for real? Again? I guess I'll find out because I don't remember this code right now. Just loop reset. Yeah, okay. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah, so as I was saying, it makes sense that they're like, oh yeah, it's not a timing thing, you just have to stand on the fire and die. Now we'll just, we'll just push you in. That's fine. You died. <gasps> Truly, this is the Dark Souls of Time Loop Camps. No, no rumors, huh? What's going on here? Oh. Okay, so there's more here and sealed vault, obviously. But I think I'm just going to go straight for opening the vault because I think I have everything I need for it. Here we go. Wait. Is that the right thing? Okay, I think that is. Uh, crescent, crescent. Uh, or I guess that's inverse crescent, so it's gibbous. Is that right? I should know this. I'm all Mr. Astronomy and, and Science guy moon <laughs> but that could be a planet you know i'm just assuming it's moon because it's kind of featureless give us is the opposite of crescent thank you so give us all right so give us ringed planet their home planet give us distant star with astigmatism distant star with astigmatism okay moon planet moon star star 
Easy. Moon, planet, moon, star, star. Moon, planet, moon, star, star. Moon, planet, moon, star, star. Donk. Moon, planet, moon, star, star. Never seen that angle where you could just fly, uh, where you could just fly straight through. Um, where do I want to go first? Um, I guess I could go to just about, just about any of these. I guess I'll go gorge for for the raft. So for getting number two. Moon, planet, moon, star, star. I almost forgot. Then I'll do that one. And then I can wake up and I can come back to the vault. And we're close to the vault as well. So. And then we can finish at the vault. technically considered asteroids. Ow. <laughs> As a shape? I did not know that. They're kind of like uh, convex diamonds. Excuse me? <laughs> like a cardioid that looks like a heart, but nothing like an actual heart. Hmm. Out of my way, to the raft. It's astounding I have not fallen off of one of these invisible bridges yet. Okay. Moon, planet, moon. Asteroid, asteroid. Speed run time. AGDQ. You have to stand on the right pixel. Come on. 
You got this. And then, here. Nice. We did it. That shaved three minutes off world record time. Yeah, I guess they lead you kind of directly right here, right? There's like, there's very clear symbolism and like light guiding you to exactly this path and not cutting through that tree like a lunatic. Uh, the DLC speedrun meta is fast evolving uh, and it's whack. Oh. Yeah, I might have to, I might have to check it out once I... Once I get through it. Any percent no suit. What are we doing? Uh, give us planet. Give us asteroid. Asteroid. Oh, I did crescent and not give us. Am I th did I do the wrong code? I must have done the wrong code. No ship. Ah. Well. I have bungled this. Start the loop over. Go look for the real code. It's just the quickest way back. Have I opened that seal before? Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't have to restart. I just had to, I just had to drop the lantern and then jump on the jump on the things oh well <laughs> I forgot how that worked it's been like a week and a half also my split wasn't wasn't very favorable so you know at that point you just kind of have to start over anyway code I used was for the Forbidden Library. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, like, I don't even need, um... I don't even necessarily need... Oh, to, uh, look up the code. I can just... I can just see it as I change things. Blech. Although that might be a little cumbersome. Cause I, I forget, can I can I actually change that dial when I'm in um, when I'm in matrix mode? Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Um Or is that code presented anywhere else here? Yeah, I think I just I think I just had to freestyle it when I get there. Okay, this time for real.
No, 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 no. I was just thinking about these panels. <laughs> I was distracted because I was thinking about these panels. And how if you go up to them really close, you can see the RGB little, little LEDs on there. Yeah, most of the way there. Nice. Optimizing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I lost a precious second on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I remember the uh, Forbidden Archive. Should have said uh, Burned Temple. Hmm. I mean, they clearly have some sort of communication, right? They make those noises. Those haunting noises that chill me to my core. I remember the first time I jumped on this raft and I missed. <laughs> they do have writing. Yeah, totally. What's over here? Oh, this is just more, uh, more film reels. I've been over there. I have to assume that I have. The thing I don't want to do is I feel like if I, I feel like as soon as I touch land, I will no longer be able to walk on water. Ah, but you know, I gotta know. It's just right here. Oh. I'm up on this platform that I had not been on before. Yeah. 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 Well, since I'm up here. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. I only had a jetpack. See, this is just like real life cyber zones. It's all bullshit. Cause in real life I have a jetpack. Here in this cyber zone, I can't even climb up this rock face. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Alright. I suspect I'm gonna die, but let's find Oh nice. Oh, uh, what a W. <laughs> what an absolute win for the little frog lad. 
Let's go. Okay, I can't see the spot that I'm supposed to be at right now. Oh, it's over on this side. There we go. Okay. Nice. Scoot across. Yeah, because I think I can I think I can turn this thing while I don't even have the while I don't even have the artifact on me. There we go. I think I have to be in corporeal form to actually extinguish it. I think. Oh yeah, and that should have been my first hint that you can walk on invisible bridges. Because I think I did that before I saw the reel where they did that um, over at the Hip Gorge. <sighs> nice. Yeah, that is a different code. Because I was re remembering the wrong code. Okay, so now, now I just have to die. That's all. Wink. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's go. Oh man, it's so nice. I have my jetpack. Um, now let's go to the vault. Whew. So close. I can feel it. The dam hasn't even broken yet. Although it looks like it's getting kind of close. Hey, yep. All right. The ultimate sacrifice. Although I guess I can't come back to corporeal form to... <gasps> oh, interesting. I feel like... I feel like this actually happened to me accidentally a couple times before where I tried to, like, meditate and then would die through meditation and then it would bring me back in here. Maybe that's why that happened. It was so confusing when it happened. Um, yeah, so now, now I can't come back in corporeal form to, like, uh, investigate the vault in real life. So I don't know what this gets me, really, unless this is good enough. I guess we'll find out. All right, it's go time. Let's get your, your power source. Let's see what, what secrets lie in wait. Ooh. Well, that's spooky. Oh, this is... Oh, I don't... Cool sound design. Did they just intentionally make everything as 
ominous as physically possible. Their entire society is like based around scaring you away from doing literally anything. <laughs> All right, so we have our telescope guy here. That's the planet, their home planet. Excuse me. I did not beckon for you. Okay, so we have something down there as well, quite high up or up on a tower. I will grant you that. Elevator. Okay. Allow me access. I demand it. Oh, is this like the architect? Just like the guy designing these? Probably not, but Oh what what oh is this is this what it always looked like or is this like an early prototype? I don't remember all the the spikes hanging off of it. Ah Excuse me. Can you not? Oh, prisoner. Hey, bud. You know, you're the first of uh, your kind who hasn't immediately killed me on sight, so you're in my good graces. What's up? I would like to know who you are. I, I, I know where we are, more or less. I get the idea. Yeah, you probably don't understand me. So, uh... You know, different languages and all. Damn, you really just like hiding in the shadows, huh? All right, you're gonna show me, or you're gonna project a memory, huh? Oh, uh, that's a much more efficient way of communicating than than my dumbass saying, "Who are you?" Here we go. Here. You think in slide reels. <laughs> okay. Are you what was hidden here? Are you the are you the one that was Yeah, you're the one who was missing. What happened to your antlers, bro? Oh. So you snuck out and reactivated the beacon. You're a true believer. And you piss them off. Wow. Yeah, this whole time I thought it was like a power source. It was some like big green thing that they like cherished. No. It's a heretic. It's a believer of the old ways. Damn, that's rough, bro. I feel for you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, touch vision torch. Let me, uh, let me beam into your brain. Oops, <laughs> I guess I, I guess I had to hold it. Sorry, first time using it. <laughs> Aw, it me. Yeah, sorry, man. It's grim out there.
Oh, that's the no my? Yeah, totally. <laughs> and they just keeled over. Hey. The Outer Wilds Expeditions. Don't kill me now, please. You've seen that I'm pure of heart. Yeah, tell me about it. You want this back? What's that noise? Seriously, man, you want this back? Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Respect. Wait, am I the prisoner now? <laughs> Did you just trap me <laughs> in your eternal damnation? <laughs> hey, get, get back here. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> He's like, I am free. You have freed me. Thank you. By using the vision torch, you have agreed to take my place. <laughs> what? Get back here, damn you. Hey, I saw that elevator. Open up. Okay. That was, that was a COVID protocol. He was like, look, we can't both share the same elevator. Like... I'll go up first, keep our distance. You're not masked because you're a weird frog man. I'm not masked because they, they can't fit over my antlers. But we gotta we gotta be safe, we gotta be smart. Oh, by the way, dude, can you like bring me back to life? Cause I'm kind of dead out there now. I hope you saw that I like sacrificed myself to find you. Just say no. That's pretty. I'm taking this. I'm stealing this. <laughs> Give me that. It's gonna be worth a lot of money. Uh okay, cool. Cool. I guess I'll go back up this. Not that I can do anything in the real world. Also, how did he leave so fast? It's like right behind him. They patched in footprints because people weren't sure where he went after leaving the prison. Really? I want to see footprints. I assume they just lead out there. Uh, 
Aha. And here. And off this way. Oh, damn. He just dipped. For real, for real. He just went. He was like, hey. It's been real. I'm gonna end this eternal torment. Peace. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can you can hit me with those in just a little bit. Excuse me. <laughs> in death, I forgot how to use stairs. Um, yeah, I don't. Oh, ow! Is there, uh, is there any, like, other, is that, like, is there any other major things to discover and find? They fixed the old ones. Yeah, just, ugh, ugh. Ugh. But, you know, I understand. Like, this guy has just had, like, an incredible experience. He's tripping over himself. He's he's having a hard time just like uh, moving his body. You know, he's still he's still deep in his mind. Hmm. Okay, so that was that was effectively this version of the end of the DLC, and then there's a slight variation. If I find the eye again, right? I want to, I want to roast marshmallows. You think I did the DLC in record time? I don't know. I. I probably burned like 11 hours on the DLC. <laughs> 12 hours. Something like that. Lots of things that took many people dozens of cycles to figure out, I got right away. Nice. I feel good about that. Really, really the only thing I got kind of hung up on is after I realized that there was like this sort of cyber zone, um, I kept going back to the same, I kept going back to like the hidden gorge cyber zone and it took, it took me a few attempts of like realizing, oh, if you go, if you go to the, the tower cyber zone, it brings you to a different place in the cyber zone. <laughs> Um, it took me, it took me a little bit to figure that out, but everything else I feel like went fairly smoothly. Nice, 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 nice. You like the gorge because it gives you the most time. Totally. And it's also the less, it's, it's one of the least, uh, I feel like it's one of the least immediately dangerous while also giving you a lot of paths to explore. So there's like a lot going on there, but it's also uh, not very intimidating, I would say. Yeah. Go check out that rumor log. Let's see what I've put in here. Boom. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. 
I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Nice. Technically, there's still more here. But it seems like I got I got the the, the big scope stuff. Um Yeah, so I don't remember how to get to the eye. I remember there's like there's like a thing over there. You have to like get to the core or something. And then you have to race to the dark bramble. There's like a, there's like a section with a lot of waiting. I feel like I remember. And then you have to like race to the dark bramble and then find find their ship and then put in the code right and that's how you get there i think is that more or less it <laughs> you have to go use the black hole and the ash twin take the core to the dark bramble avoid the fish right drop the core in the ship i feel like i'm falling I guess technically we're always falling, huh? Then there is a code. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of an or ordeal. So I'm, I might just do that on my own time. Um, but meanwhile, I did this a couple streams ago where I landed on the, on the solar thing. I feel like, I feel like that got patched. Because I used to be able to, um, okay, here we go. I, I used to be able to land on this, get out and fly into, uh, this guy. But now there's like, uh, now there's like forces of gravity that push me against the walls of my ship, which I don't think, it, oh no, we're drifting. Uh, which I don't remember being as big of an issue back then. Oh, drifting. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get in there. There we go. Yeah, because I remember this is this is how I originally got in here when I played the game for the first time. Ah, stop. stop. <laughs> but you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, I remember I didn't even I didn't even get up to this. I actually um, I actually landed up here. I remember. Whoa, that got really close. Uh, the interloper. I actually landed up here and then got out and flew over in my EVA suit. Um, but as you can see. Ooh, okay. You can actually kind of do this. Oh, God, this is terrifying. Ugh. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Ooh. Still got it. My ship is gone. Uh, if you can't find the ship, you have to shoot the probe in the spot the Nomai died at to find it. Uh, but speedrunners seem to know the exact light to go to. I, I feel like I kind of remember where the ship is, to tell you the truth. 
even though it's been a long time. Because it's always it's always at the same one. Um, you miss the jump between the two halves of this way too many times. I, I feel like you could do it with keyboard and mouse. Or at the very least, whoa, look at that. Um, at the very least, I have landed on that with keyboard and mouse before. Um, but I, I can't say I've gotten into here with keyboard and mouse. So, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a little difficult. Except this one spot. Fair. What a pretty video game. got caught. It's just chilling in orbit right now. Sort of. It's going a very bizarre trajectory. What is it doing? Maybe it's being pulled between... Well, I would think, you know, maybe there's like... Being pulled on some planetary uh, gravitational pull. Which is kind of bringing it in this winding curved S. Oh, it's so close to the surface of the sun. Uh, even the details that aren't needed for the game are amazing when looked into further. I believe that. But did you know you can use that probe to monitor the integrity of the dam? Oh, that's a great point. I never thought about that. But yeah. Ah, my ship. My ship. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great point. My ship. It's orbiting the sun. It's actually quite hard to deorbit something into the sun because you have to have enough delta V to remove most of the relative motion. Yeah, but it's in this weird, like, winding path. Right? Ooh, right past those solar flares.
Uh, yeah, so you mentioned you mentioned you had some some fun tidbits. Now seems like a, as good a time as any. Assuming they're different from these from these tidbits we're discussing now. The Aldir were first, they blocked the signal from the eye, but only after the Nomai had received it. The Nomai were confused why the signal went away and had to do the probe thing to find it. Ah, so I was I was kind of on the right path with that then. Yeah, that's that's really cool uh lore. Whoa. Look at it go. On a close approach. Hazard. Hell yeah. we sank into the sun uh, ghost matter is cancelled by water there are clues to that in the original game showing that while the Nomai were dying from the interloper spreading it all over the system the Herthians evolved in water saving them and you can find some slightly faster paths in the DLC if you know that the Aldir were already dead and unaffected huh hold on Why are my arms out like that? Why do, why do I stand like that? <laughs> oh boy. Huh. That is interesting. But just like, I'm not even in the suit. Right. That's not how you that's not how you stand. Well then that's then that's bad design. Which I believe I believe they would have bad design. You know, a lot of people when they make costumes or outfits they don't necessarily factor in um you know the ergonomics and whether or not somebody's actually going to be comfortable in them what happens if you just launch it into the sun just like thunk The Aldir ship flies away from the Nova. The stress of acceleration breaks the dam and interrupts power. Hold on, I have to stabilize for this. For this hot lore. How do I... Um, it flies away from the Nova. From their own stars? Supernova? From this supernova. Right, because they're here. <laughs> uh, so it flies away. That might that would actually be kind of interesting because I remember trying to peek out the window and not really being able to see the see the the the, the star all inflated in red. 
but I but I, I haven't spent like time watching it. Um, the stress of acceleration breaks the dam and interrupts power. The panels expanding, the green panels uh, expanding, also indicated that the engines engage, as seen in one of the reels. You get reset by the Ash Twin project anyway, but not by dying, which is why you get the digital pattern instead of the uh, Nova explosion when the loop ends if you're on the stranger. Aha! Yeah, I did sort of wonder that. I didn't totally pick up on the whole thing. Uh, certainly. There are no engines. The panels are solar panel or solar sails. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I did sort of pick up on the, the different reset. Um, because uh because yeah there 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 had been a couple of times where i sort of waited at the end to get washed over in the glow of the supernova and it's just like that really unsatisfying like um interesting that's a good sound effect Mm -mm -mm. Can, can you not? Can you not? There we go. Um. Yeah, that's cool. What a good game. favor is that the, the giant's deep islands are shards of the planet Dark Bramble destroyed. Oh, that's cool. And the jellyfish came from there too. That would make sense. Well, I say that would make sense. I don't know why I said that, but that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I said that as though like I remembered some clue that that would tie into which is not the case oh I forgot that's a thing <laughs> I forgot that's a thing why am I only locked on to the sun I feel like it should be like left click in that targets and detargets things but it's not doing anything Let me tell you, as scary as Dark Bramble is, and it's quite scary, Giant Steep, much scarier for me. Oh, there's a bug? Gotcha. Well, that's okay. Now I'll just deal with it. Usually I don't even use targeting. But, you know, sometimes. Um, yeah, I remember, like, when I first played this game, it took me, like, 20 minutes to descend into Giant's Deep. I remember I was like, okay like approach it slowly and you can see like the turbulent clouds and everything like a gas giant and I was like oh god ah <laughs> uh. I just remember being like okay so we're gonna like hit the edge of these clouds And doing that and be like, oh god. And I'm like, 
things slowly descending. Oh god, I'm going to the dark side. Why? It's so much worse. And then, like, doing this bullshit. Uh, <laughs> it's so scary. And then, of course, there's a billion cyclones, and you're like, oh my god, what is happening? Uh. Yeah, my, uh, I have, like, uh, really bad irrational fears of, like, being enveloped by enormity. Um, and being caught in the gravitational pull of a planet is absolutely, like, triggers that fear. Because there's, like, nothing you can do to combat that. Like, if you were out in an EVA suit out in orbit and you just had a decaying orbit that's so terrifying to me um, and so like going to Giant's Deep which looks like a gas giant and just being told like oh there's something on that planet go to that planet land on it it's like no thanks absolutely not <laughs> and then also um so, like, when I first uh, arrived on Giant's Deep, I didn't realize that these little islands get thrown into the sky because, of course, I was playing it right after it launched and, you know, that had not been spoiled for me. Um, and part of, part of this fear is I've had nightmares, like, growing up especially, where I would get caught in big gusts of wind and they would lift me hundreds of feet into the air and then the gusts would run out. And it would be like, you're just falling to your death, bro. You're just, you're just plummeting to your death and there's nothing you can do. You're caught in the gravity well of this planet and you have no safety net. So <laughs> you can imagine my surprise when I, I land on this immensely terrifying planet and I'm out of my ship and I'm like there's there's a there's an area where you you where you, you like go into the 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 center of a tree right it's like a tunnel carved out of a tree and the cyclone hit during that and I'm in that tunnel and all of a sudden there's no gravity and I float myself out and I see myself outside of outside of the planet trying to get back into my ship and it's just like it was it was like a culmination of everything that just like that just makes my brain fold in on itself um, it was very very scary They did give you safety nets. What do you mean? Right. No, I don't like that. There's tornado shelters in Giant Steve. Really? Oh, right, right, right. Yes. I remember, I remember those. Ooh, uh. <laughs> yeah, and they just sort of lock you in place. start like an outer wilds racing league 
right? It's like FPV drone racing. You have to go through these obstacle courses. Never mind. The idea is off. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, it is midnight, and tomorrow I have four hours of driving ahead of me. And I'd rather do that early in the day rather than later in the day. Um, and that'll probably be my last stream for the year. And, uh, yeah. Some of the speed runs for this game are insane. Um, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely have to look into that. Um, because there's, I feel like there's, like, just enough mobility options and ways to get around that they're probably really fun and interesting to, uh, to watch. Um... But yeah, so like uh, the next week I'll have off and I'll spend with family. And then the, the week after that, I will spend working on Emergent Beacon and hopefully getting some good stuff done during that. Dur during my week off where I'm on vacation, I will secretly be doing Emergent Beacon planning and research. <laughs> Basically everything that I can do that doesn't involve uh, a camera or uh, editing. Um, so hopefully I will get a lot of important work done then, but then my Emergent Beacon week doesn't start in earnest until the 31st. So, uh, hopefully I will get a lot done. Um, end of January is when I expect some of the, like, really challenging, uh, scenes for my upcoming video to be done. Um, that'll record or require uh, buying props and securing locations and fancy stuff like that. Stuff that's going to, like, give it a sense of, like, production value and everything. Um, so it'll be really important, but it's a lot... Of, it's difficult to set up. Um, but until then, you know, uh, you can find me online at on Twitter... G A T O W A G. Brian, I, I know you're already familiar. Uh, Instagram here, of course. I mean, not for the next week or two, but you know, occasionally here. Uh, and uh, yeah, youtubecom slash Uh Emergent Beacon has a Discord, which is nice. Very, very chill, chill vibes with uh, with a handful of people there. And then, uh, yeah, patreon.com slash Emergent Beacon. And I think that's mostly it. I think that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me. It's always nice to, uh, to be able to share in these moments with people. And uh, have a good night. Anyway, I'll see you around. Bye.